What's going on, everyone? Welcome on into today's video. We are diving into Tesla stock here in this video. So Tesla has been a stock that over the past year uh, is actually up 21%. Believe it or not, despite the massive sell-off over the past oh, month and a half, two months now, it wasn't up very much just two days ago, and it's made some nice moves back to the upside. This past week is up 14%. Year to date, though, it is still down about 28%. About the past six months, it's down roughly 30%. So we're looking at the chart right here. Let's talk about some key spots to watch. That's what we'll be doing here in this video. So really, really quick on Tesla. We are looking at Tesla right now, and it's actually respecting some of these levels on our chart uh, very, very well. And we, we're using the volume profiles on the right-hand side to get a better sense. And if we just extend horizontal lines off of some of these peaks in the volume profile, let's take a look at where that sets us up. If I just draw these lines right in here, then you're going to actually see kind of a funny coincidence. So Tesla on the initial move back to the upside on Thursday it gets stuffed right here, which actually happens to come in line with the lows back in February. And this volume profile telling you, hey, a lot of volume has been exchanged there. This could be a key spot to watch on Tesla. Now it's closed right at the top right here of this volume profile, this little volume extension right here on the right-hand side, roughly around 750, 760, okay? So Tesla finished the day up roughly around 759. Actually, in the after hours on Friday, it finished around 762, give or take a few bucks, up 7% to finish off the week. So where could we see Tesla heading in the future? Not to mention, guys, this area around 750 happens to line up with the March lows. So this is actually a really crucial spot that we're at right now. Okay, so we expect, if not a pullback here, you'd want to see Tesla pushing up, coming back down, and then testing this area to become support if you want a uh, further upside. Now, if we do get a pullback from a level right now into next week, a Monday market's closed, but let's say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that, we could pull right back into this area right here around 709, 710, and that would be a nice area that Tesla could come back down, fill the gap back down, and then hold up and build higher lows over 700 and keep on pushing. So where would some of the next spots to watch be? Uh, if we go up to the upside here on Tesla, it really isn't very, very clear. Okay, it really is going to depend on a couple of things, how the overall market reacts and how the sector reacts. And of course, what Elon Musk does. Uh, if Elon Musk is in the news and it's negative going forward the next couple of weeks, yeah, you're going to see potentially some more downside or some more choppiness on Tesla stock. But you guys see that, you know, the stock does dump off a good bit really from the area we hit up in April, early April, dumped massively from up here over 1100 down to sub 650. But in just a matter of three days, the stock goes from 625 and then it's up over 760. You know, so you can see that these stocks can really, you know, snap back and rally in a very, very quick manner, which is something to make sure you're paying attention to and aware of because the market that we're in, uh, it generally speaking, if you were to go back five, six, seven years, I mean, we, you wouldn't see this type of action in, in this short of a span of time. You just don't see it. Uh, generally speaking. So next spot on Tesla, we're going to put a line right here and a resistance line right here at around 788. That's just this spot right here. We got up to on the way back down, we bounced up towards that spot right here on this candlestick and early May, the 13th of May. So that's going to be the next spot to watch on Tesla, 788, 790. Beyond that, I want to point out the $800 level. Why is that key? Well, that's because that was a really explosive point for Tesla. Not a ton of volume, at least relatively speaking, was traded in the 800-ish uh, up to like 850 or so level on Tesla uh, because we had a really big move back up on the initial extension to the upside. But once Tesla broke over 800, if you were to go back in here, let me try to draw this out a little better for you. But if you were to go back into this time frame, okay, and that puts you into September, October, of 2021, Tesla broke 800. It took it was chopping around for a while. And guys, look at these candlesticks. By the way, go back to the the fall of 2021. What do you see? You know, small candlesticks. You know, some some moves. Tesla was making some moves. It was volatile stock back then. But guys, it's not as it wasn't as volatile as it is now. 2022 took it really honestly. The last two months, 2021 and 2022, were on another level in terms of volatility across not just Tesla, the overall market, but Tesla being a volatile stock prior to that time frame, 
I mean, take it up 10 notches. These candlesticks are massive, wild moves up and down. Yeah, percentage-wise, as the stock goes up in value price-wise, yeah, obviously, you're going to see bigger moves, and it's not going to correlate necessarily as perfectly percentage-wise. But still, we're seeing bigger percentage moves day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month, compared to what we were seeing seriously just go back about a year or so ago. So Tesla in October of 2021 breaks 800 and goes straight up into that run and hits its high up here over $1,200 per share, okay? So that $800 level is gonna be right up in here. If Tesla can break through this, we're probably coming up into that 875, 900 level, but you're seeing some heavier volume over here on the right-hand side. So that puts you up to 860 to about 910 will be the next kind of areas to watch. Then there's a good volume gap right here on this move. If Tesla can get up over 910, it's got a nice run up towards roughly $1,000. I'll put that next line there as we start to extend out, roughly 1000 bucks per share. So those are some of the spots to watch going forward. Obviously, downside targets here for pullbacks down towards 710. And then beyond that, we're looking at down towards around 680. And then down here towards 650. And the lows were down towards 620. Uh, obviously, if this is a bear market rally, those lows would be breached one by one. And we'd go down for more. And then we'd eventually would breach lower. And then we'd see Tesla coming down here potentially below $600 per share. And if that's the case, then we might have to start looking back here and talking Tesla down towards 550, which actually was a really nice spot down here in 2021 that Tesla dipped down to once, twice, three times and bounced very, very nicely off of that 550 level. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like always, I appreciate you guys for watching the videos. Any other links, resources, as well as a webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal will be linked in the video description box down below. Check it out if you are interested. This platform we're using is TradingView. There'll be a link to that also in the video description if you want to check it out. There's a free version, and then there also are 30-day free trials to some of their more advanced versions, which are definitely worth it. We're using the pro version here in this video. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. 